welcome students in today's video we are going to solve some numerical problems on a singly reinforced beam so let us take this example we have a rectangular beam of size 230 mm by 520 mm effective depth so this is 230 mm is the breadth b depth is 520 mm effective depth they have given is reinforced with uh, four bars of 16 mm dia the question asked is find out the depth of neutral axis and specify the type of beam so one is that you have to find out the depth of the neutral axis so depth of the neutral axis is nothing but x u we have to find then next is we have to check it whether it is a over reinforced section or under reinforced section how we will calculate so we have to check with x u max x u max if it is less than x u is less than x u max that beam is called as under reinforced if it is greater then we are going to call it as over reinforced section then next is also find out the depth of the neutral axis the next is uh, also find out the depth of the neutral axis if the reinforcement is increased to 5 bars of 16 mm dia in this question first they are asking is when we have 4 bars of 16 mm dia what is the depth of neutral axis and which type of beam it is the next is after that if it is increased to 5 bars of 16 mm dia what is the depth of the neutral axis they have asked so this is the question now so let us start solving this problem first uh, data b given is 230 mm depth is 520 mm so you can take care that this is small d that is nothing but effective depth that is 520 mm fck is 15 newton per mm square and f of y is 415 newton per mm square so first we will try to calculate what is the area of this reinforcement how do you calculate area of the reinforcement so area of one bar is nothing but pi by 4 into d square pi by 4 into d square so d is how much diameter of one bar is 16 mm so pi by 4 into 16 square so this is nothing but area of one bar so how many bars we have four bars we have now so therefore multiply it by 4 so therefore total area will be 804 mm square this much area of steel is being provided within this beam then next is we will try to calculate the depth of the neutral axis so how do you calculate depth of the neutral axis this is the formula we have that is 0.87 f of y into ast divided by 0.36 fck into b so this already they have given in the code also so if you refer this annexure g in that they have given moment of resistance for rectangular and t sections so now we are solving rectangular sections for that determine the depth of the neutral axis from the following equation they have given so x u by d is equal to this formula they have given same formula i have shown it here that is same formula 0.87 f of y into ast divided by 0.36 fck into b so those values have to be substituted so f of y is uh, 415 we have ast just now we have calculated 804 fck is uh, 15 we have b is nothing but 230 mm same thing if we are going to substitute here we are going to get answer as 234 mm this is nothing but the depth of the neutral axis then next we have to check whether it is a under reinforced section or over reinforced section so how will come to know so this limiting value also they have given in the last video we have seen once again let me show you in the code also what is the limiting value what is x u max by d so x u max by d this also they have given so if you refer this clause that is they have given limit state of collapse for flexure 38.1 here in this case they have given the limiting values of the depth of the neutral axis for different grades of steel for fy 250 415 and 500 these are the x u max by d value ours is 415 so x u max per d value is 0.48 so by referring this what we will do we will calculate this so x u max per d this is 0.48 so now what we can do we can calculate this value of x u max so this you cross multiply that is 0.48 multiplied by depth is 520 mm 
so therefore x u max value will be 250 mm x u max is 250 mm x u value just now we had calculated this value is 234 mm and this value is 250 mm so therefore x u is less than x u max so therefore section is under reinforced if it is equal it is balanced section if it is greater now for example if it is greater then we can say that this is a over reinforced section so this was the first part in the question in the second part what they have said is that instead of 4 bars of 16 mm dia they have given 5 bars of 16 mm dia now so only what will change area will change so area again same thing pi by 4 into d square we have so this is nothing but area of 1 bar multiplied by 5 why because we have 5 bars so therefore 1005 mm square is the area of 5 bars of 16 mm dia again once again we will calculate depth of the neutral axis x, x u same formula so again only this ast it is going to change so instead of previously this value is going to change that is 1005 this value we are going to give as the input so we are going to get answer as 292 mm 292 mm is the answer that is the depth of the neutral axis but previously we had calculated x u max x u max value is how much 250 mm in the previous case it was lesser therefore section was under reinforced now if you see x u value is 292 x u max is 250 that means x u is greater than x u max so therefore our section is over reinforced section our section is over reinforced section so you cannot design a section as a over reinforced section why because we are going to have a brittle failure or compression failure so therefore always we are going to limit our section to the under reinforced section so therefore what we can do we can adopt this value itself maximum value 250 mm we cannot go beyond this so therefore we are going to adopt x u is equal to x u max that is equal to 250 mm if you take x u max value greater than this our section will be over reinforced so which we don't want so therefore we can adopt it as a 250 mm so in the question they had asked us to calculate the depth of the neutral axis and specify which type of beam it is over reinforced or under reinforced that we have done in this problem the next same problem what happens is they are asking us to calculate the moment of resistance so the both the cases what we have seen so what will be the moment of resistance that means how much movement that beam can carry so that we will try to calculate now so again same thing already this we have done so thing is now we have to calculate what is its moment carrying capacity so based on the compressive forces we can calculate or based on the tensile forces also we can calculate already we have seen this so this formula to calculate the mo uh, moment of resistance of a section so it is 0.36 fck into b into xu into bracket of d minus of 0.42 xu xu just now we have calculated that is 234 that is our first case b is 230 mm fck is 15.36 we have then next this uh, d is 520 mm next xu is 234 so if you substitute we will get answer as 122.56 into 10 raised to 6 newton mm or we will try to convert it in kilo newton meter so it will be 122.56 kilo newton meter so this is the ultimate moment carrying capacity of moment carrying capacity of the section or you can use another formula that is to calculate the moment based on the tensile forces tensile stress is what we have so if you see this formula also already they have given in the annexure g of the is code so if you refer annexure g they have given right if this is we have to calculate the depth of the neutral axis if it is less than the limiting value we can calculate the moment of resistance by the following expression this is nothing but 0.87 f of i into ast into d into bracket of 1 minus ast into f of i divided by bd fck with the help of this we can calculate the moment of resistance when we can calculate when xu by d is less than the limiting value so same formula it is being shown here that is as we have seen this is less than the xu by d is less than x u max so this is a under reinforced section so this formula we are using same formula what i had shown so similarly if you are going to substitute all the values we are going to get this answer 
f of i is nothing but steel value fe415 we have area of steel is nothing but 804 depth is nothing but effective depth 520 mm ast it is nothing but 804 415 we have the next is b is 230 mm d is uh, 520 mm next is fck is 15 so if you substitute we will get answer as 122.87 kN meter 122.56 it will be same whether you calculate by that or this formula then next we will go to the second case in the second case as we have found out that xu was greater than xu max so therefore what xu max value we have so that has to be taken it as a xu so therefore we are going to take it as 250 mm and again same formula we will try to calculate what is the moment carrying capacity of that section so that will be equal to 0.36 fck into b into xu into d minus 0.42 xu only this value if you change you will get answer as 128.85 kN meter or what we can do we can calculate the limiting value limiting value why because we have restricted our depth of the neutral axis to 250 mm so therefore this formula we can use that is 0.138 fck bd square why because this is the limiting moment so how this limiting moment we are going to get based on the maximum depth of the neutral axis itself already in the derivation we have seen so therefore 0.138 fck bd square if you use you will get this answer otherwise in the previous formula also if you add up ultimately we are going to get this answer itself that is 128.85 kN meter or 128.74 km a uh, kilonewton meter that is nothing but the moment resisting capacity of the section